I have this female. She feels like maybe like 40s to 50s is where she's showing me. And I do see her as I lean into her a little bit more. She has curly blonde hair that hits roughly about her uh, chin. But she seems very like active and very pushy. And I almost get this feeling with her that she'd be so confident into herself that it would make other people kind of be like back down. Like I feel inferior to her, but almost like in an awe kind of way. She's just very confident in who she is. She also makes me feel like I'm leaning into her energy. Uh, it's very like, I know facts and I get this. I do feel like June keeps popping up for her, but what's ironic with her passing is I feel really sick to my stomach. I feel very like nauseous, but I almost feel like there's an issue with the chest is kind of where I'm being brought to and, and breast cancer or some sort of cancer that would have been infected in the chest. So you'd have to understand this. I also do feel with her that she would be a mom and I do get the number four as well. Uh, the number four keeps popping up as well. So if you can take this, please put hearts in the chat, please. So I got two Brits, uh, Brit Joe Life and Brittany. Um, I do feel uh, pulled to Brit Joe Life. Can you do me a favor? Can you, um, can I pull you up into the room? Do you mind? I feel like she would be in her late forties, early fifties is kind of where she's putting me. Hi, Brit. Hi, how are you? Good. I just want to see how persistent this lady would be. I feel like uh, when she wants to get her point across, she makes it a point to be very dominant. Do you understand that? Sure do. Oh. Okay, that's weird. So I, I'm automatically brought to like the day that she had passed, and I almost feel like there'd be a lot of like not being able to breathe. I get this like gasping feeling, but also like a lump in my throat. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you understand the four connected to her? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh. She was married prior to me and then had two stepchildren with her and has two stepchildren with me. Okay. Is there a joke about Frosted Flakes somewhere? Because she keeps telling me Frosted Flakes. Do you understand this? Uh, yeah, she was a truck driver and she felt like the only cereal she could ever find <laughs> was Frosted Flakes. Okay. <laughs> she is, she's, she's like, talk about Frosted Flakes. Now, I keep wanting to talk about, like, she's, she'd bring me to this, like, transportation issue. And I know you said she was a truck driver, but it's not anything to do with work. She keeps bringing me out to a driveway that would be connected to, uh, a garage that would have like a brick uh, outside. Do you understand this? Um, I I don't. Um, the only okay. thing that that would sound close to is uh, the kids and I were in a car accident while I left her home okay. on hospice, and it was in front of a brick wall. Okay, because she's bringing me to a driveway with brick. So I just want to clarify that. I also get that she would be, like, very, like, confident, but I also feel like there is some insecurity around, like, um, like having answers for people. But I feel like she kind of passed it off of, like, how knowledgeable she would be. Do you understand this, like, conundrum that she would, like, have this, like, confidence issue with herself? Yeah. Do you understand the D name connected to a male? Because I, I feel like I'm, she's bringing me to a male, and I feel like this is a D, a D name, like a Dom, or a D, I just hear this Dom name. Do you understand this? Um, As in all, already passed? No, she's just bringing attention to a, a male with a D name. Uh, That would be my kid's father, David. They were okay. really close. Okay. I just want to talk about how much empathy she would have for people. Cause it's like almost like breaking my heart. I can't do something for somebody. And it's like, literally she'd go out of her way to make sure that somebody actually felt comfortable and supported and loved. But it's like, I feel like I've let somebody down by that. Do you understand this? I do. When she was first diagnosed and we were sitting in the room and got the diagnosis, the doctor looked at her and said, what, what are you thinking? And she said, how am I supposed to support my family? And she would just keep telling everybody, I'm okay, I'm okay. But okay. she was really declining. Okay. 
Yeah, she's hitting me with a big love bomb. Do you understand something to do with the... Because she's bringing me to the back of the head as well. Do you understand this? Yeah, the cancer had spread to her, her brain. Oh, honey. <laughs> Let me tell you the funny part about her. And the funny <laughs> part about her is that she is very forward. <laughs> yes, she is. And she's very persistent. And she, she was a Taurus through and through. She showed up in a private reading for me today and would not leave me alone. <laughs> I have been watching you and Dana and Hannah for months, hoping that she would come through. It's been it's actually been four months on Friday since she's passed. Do you understand why I'm being brought to like dancing in a kitchen? Do you understand? <laughs> The day that she passed, we danced in the living room in the kitchen. Oh, honey. <laughs> oh. We didn't get our wedding. And so we played the song that was supposed to be our first dance the day that she passed, just hours before she passed. Do you know why she's bringing me to a light fixture that's like a white globe? Like, I would see this in, like, the 80s or 90s, but she's bringing me this, like, white globe light. Do you understand what this is? Um, I can understand a, the globe part and okay. kind of the light part, but, um, okay. which makes me, hold on a second. I want to see. Let me show you something. Okay. Um, oh, so, when, I don't know how to do this. Um. Throughout her cancer treatments, I don't know if you can see me or not. I can't, no, but uh, you can turn on your camera at the very bottom. It should be a little feature for you to turn it on. Okay. Um, oh, it says connect using audio only. Okay, that's o that's okay. Uh, you so, can e you can email me a picture that I'll, I'll okay I'll through each one of her cancer treatments. After each treatment, I bought her these globes that have roses inside of them, with oh. all of them being a different color representing something, and one of them actually does glow. Oh, do you understand kissing of the knuckles? There's something to do with kissing of the knuckles because she keeps <laughs> showing me like grabbing your hand and then kissing you like. Yep. Right here. That was her favorite thing to do when we would go out on the road and she couldn't reach me because of the semi being too far apart. She would just grab my hand and kiss my, my fingers. Okay. Because she's doing that to you right now. She wants me to make that very important. <laughs> Is there a younger male that would be below her that's kind of going through some like emotional stuff? Because I feel like I need to trust like saying like great job with this. Like I feel like you're like handling this very beautifully. Do you understand that? Our son, he's he's struggling really bad with missing his mom, okay. and he's he's uh he has Asperger's and ADHD, and he can't figure out how to mourn properly or go through the grief properly. Is there a bear connected to him? There is. Okay. Because she's she's like mentioning the bear, so I just want to say how beautiful you're doing with him. Because like you're taking your time to explain it to him, and you're not talking down to him is what she's making me feel. You're talking with him. And yeah, so I always tell him, look, we've got to walk through this. You have to face it, honey. Because if you put it on the back burner, it will creep up later in life, and it could destroy something good for you. Is he sharing a room with? A female? Because he's she's showing me that he's not sleeping alone. She's sleeping with a female. Do you understand that? Um, he does not sleep with his sister. He uh, sleeps with my best friend. Okay. My best friend and him share a room together. Okay, because she's like he's not being independent. <laughs> so no. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and he apparently he sleeps with a nightlight because she wants me to bring the like the attention to the light on the wall flickering. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Yep. So that's her saying goodbye. Is it doing it in threes? Yes. Okay. So I need to acknowledge that's her tapping it saying, I love you. So I just want to uh, bring that up as uh, evidence. And what is with, like, she's bringing my attention to meatloaf, but she's doing it in, like, a joking way where it's, like, constantly, like, a lot of meat. Do you understand this? Uh, yeah, I... <laughs> 
I have an iron deficiency, aplastic anemia that was due to chemo from my prior cancer diagnosis. Okay. And we would eat a lot of meat just so that I wouldn't have to do the iron infusions. Oh, okay. Cause she's making, <laughs> she's kind of like making fun of you with that. That's kind of, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. She always <laughs> called me a carnivore and told me I needed to live on a farm and she would have to be careful and count the cows every morning. <laughs> okay. Do you understand the month of October being connected to her or why she's mentioning the month of October? But this feels like a very like solid date. Like she keeps saying solid October. Do you understand this? Um, yeah. Uh, October 9th was when, our ceremony was for our wedding and Halloween is her favorite holiday. Okay. Cause she's like October. Like she's not saying it in like a very, it's a very confident October. And is there a hoodie that would be blue with a white logo on the front of it? Yeah. Her American Eagle hoodie. Okay. Cause she's like mentioning the American Eagle hoodie, but would she also wear hats and pull her hair through the back of the hat? Um, when she had hair, uh, before I had met her, that is how she would do it. But when I met her, uh, she had shaved her head and uh, okay. kept it pretty short and wore her uh, hats okay. backwards. Because she keeps showing me like hair through the hat. So I just want to talk about that. And it's probably just an acknowledgement to the, her having hair now. Um, there was one other thing that I wanted to talk about. And it just totally popped out of my head because I'm too busy explaining the ponytail. Which <laughs> To an extent. I also, when I, I had hair before I cut it for her while going through chemo, I used to have my hair through the the back of the hats and she would always pull it and just okay. be fun with that. I got you. She's singing a song, but she's doing it in a way where she could, I feel like she could really sing. Do you understand this? Uh, and yeah, way, and the way that she would sing is she's singing to you, and she's putting her hand on her chest, and she's singing like, and I don't, I can't hear what she's singing. Normally, they give me a song, but she just keeps doing this, and then like putting her hand out to you. So I just need to acknowledge this, and I just like I keep wanting to sing like all by myself <laughs> that song. Do you understand this? I do. Um, our first dance song was "Haven't Met Us Yet," and part of the song was Johnny Ass Baby for one last dance her name was johnny and she always called me baby and whenever that part would come up that's exactly what she would do she would grab her heart and reach for me and just do this okay so i'm gonna leave that with you she's more than okay and she's always around and just remember the three taps on the light is is her okay and i want to acknowledge that and you're doing a beautiful job you're really you're you're and you're just utilizing everything that you've got and you're just taking it day by day and she's and fully aware of that she's behind you Thank you, because I don't feel like I am. I feel like I fail most days because I can't get out of bed. You're doing what you need to do. And I think that's all that you can, right? And so I think that you need to just continue doing what you need to do to get by. And that's okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm sending you love. And Frosted Flakes, friend. Frosted Flakes. <laughs> yeah. so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm sending you love, friend.